One of the things that I found most engrossing when I was reading Angels and Demons was the Illuminati. The Illuminati was formed in the 1600s. They were artists and scientists like Galileo and Bernini, whose progressive ideas threatened the Vatican. The Illuminati, they were pushing knowledge, um, and they had a pretty, pretty august group of people. The early Illuminati were persecuted by the church. They were hunted down, even executed, and driven underground. There wasn't a powerful organization on earth they didn't penetrate, including the Vatican, by hiding in plain sight. I love that we're sort of like making a trip through the Renaissance in all of these films. We had Da Vinci, of course, in the first one, and now we have Galileo. By and large, it's all just one fabulous game of trivial pursuit, but it's for important matters that they're pursuing. This ghost has returned to haunt us. That Illuminati and the grammatic symbol has been considered a myth for 400 years. It was only going to be revealed when the Illuminati had amassed enough power to resurface. The Illuminati, uh, this sect of scientists who've been suppressed by the church have come back. Four cardinals were kidnapped from inside the Vatican. The Illuminati themselves have returned to Rome. The Illuminati, in an act of revenge, has threatened to destroy the Vatican. A cataclysmic event equivalent to about five kilotons. Ironically, the Vatican has called upon Robert Langdon, an old foe in their minds to help decipher mysterious Illuminati codes. There's a hidden trail through Rome itself that leads to the place where the Illuminati would meet in secret. Langdon deduces that in order to save the Cardinals in Vatican City, he must follow the Illuminati path of illumination through Rome. I need a map showing all the churches of Rome. At particular churches, Langdon knows that he will find the symbols for earth, air, fire, and water. Ow! Somebody! It seems the real world is upon us tonight. It's the Vatican, a country of its own with its own laws. The mystery of the Illuminati goes on and on and on, and there's so much written about it. Some believe, some don't. This is what Dan Brown exploits so wonderfully in Angels and Demons. What do we really know about the Illuminati? Some believe they're with us in secret today. Do you believe in God, sir?